<sighs> okay, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Retrograde Entropy, and we are back. And we had another bad day yesterday, and I'm probably going to have a bad day today. So let me go ahead <coughs> and explain what happened. So, first of all, yesterday I was sort of recovering from the day before, so I had a little bit of a headache, but it was pretty much tapering off, so that's not a problem. Um, I did go out for a walk fairly early in the morning. Um, when it was only 20 degrees, because it was going to get up to 30, and it did get over 30 yesterday, got up to like 34 or something stupid, so I had a work, walk early in the morning, it was very sunny, but the temperature wasn't too bad, <coughs> I actually got a little bit over enthusiastic, so I ended up having a 10 minute walk instead of a 5 minute walk, um, I had my hat on, of course, because um, it was very sunny, but still, there was a lot of sun out there, and <clears throat> it it felt okay while I was out there, you know, nice breeze, it was nice and warm, it was a really warm day, so I went for a longer walk than I meant to. I was actually thinking about, there's a full 20 minute, like, there's a 5 minute walk, which is just to the shops and back, and then there's a longer, like, 20-25 minute walk, which is crossing the main road next to the shops, walking around this um, oval, this community center and then coming back and that's a really nice walk <coughs> and I thought about doing that walk I crossed the road but then I was like nah this there's too much sun this is gonna screw me over so I just crossed back over the road and then went home and overall there was 10 minutes but physically yeah, my chronic fatigue was okay in terms of energy uh, I definitely had enough energy Physically, I was okay as well. I felt a little bit tired when I got home, but not like I'd really pushed myself, just a little bit tired. However, I had another uh, light sensitivity headache that day. It wasn't as bad as the previous day, but it was it was there, and I did sort of make it a bit worse again by going on the computer, but it was, it was less. It was not as bad a headache, so I sort of just said, you know, whatever. I'm just going to ignore it, and it did get a little bit worse when I was on the computer, but... Not as bad. It's not as bad as the previous day. <coughs> that wasn't the main thing, though. That was the main thing that screwed my day over. That could have handled. Um, the main thing was it got really hot inside the house because it was like 34 outside. It got up to like 29 inside. So I was walking around with um, shorts, no shirt. And I hadn't put the AC on because <coughs> I just, I don't know. I was trying to see if I could get by without the AC. So anyway, I've... At one point, I couldn't, and so I said, all right, screw it, I'm going to put the AC on, I'm going to put it down to 26, and my air conditioner, the ducted, is really, really, really powerful, so it just went vroom, and it just started cooling down the whole place really fast, and I think I got sick, um, or got to the point where I started to get sick, so I'm, I'm at the point where I'm almost sick at, at this moment. Um <coughs> Just because I think uh, one of the things that can definitely make you sick is rapid changes in your body temperature. And this AC cooled the place down so so fast that, yeah, I just got crook. And also because it blows down cold air, when it and I actually had it on full speed. I don't know why it was on full speed, but... <coughs> yeah, so... I need to change my approach to cooling the house. I think what I'm going to do is, once it gets to a certain temperature, I'm not going to try and like take my shirt off and try and you know work through it and just deal with it. I'm just going to put the AC on, low settings, and I'm going to see how it goes. <coughs> and I have to be really careful as well because the um, when they installed it, they put the Wi-Fi module, which has a thermometer on it, up in the roof. <coughs> Which they checked with me and I was like, yeah, sure, do what you want. But I didn't know it had a thermometer on it. And I didn't know that that thermometer would be the one that's used to determine how much cooling is done. So now it's kind of a stupid system because it's cooling based on a thermometer that's in the roof. Which really sucks in winter because, of course, the hot air rises. So it never heats as much as it should. And it's, well, in summer it's crazy because the hot air rises. So it's... Uh, like, in the house, it's 29 degrees, but in the roof, it's 45 degrees for some stupid reason. And the air conditioner just goes mental when you turn it on. <coughs> so, yeah. Um, I've got to gotta be very careful not to, not to sort of screw myself over like that <coughs> again. And you can see my cough is a lot worse 
and it normally is. But this is a very early video. It's only quarter past six, so that's probably it. Uh, why as well. So anyway, so today is going to be a total rest day. I don't even know if I'm going to go out for a walk. I don't think it's a good idea going out for a walk today. The weather's supposed to be a lot nicer. It's currently 25 degrees, and that's the top for today. So I'm at, it's at 6 in the morning, it's 25 degrees, and that's the warmest it's going to get the entire day. So Melbourne, what the hell, man? What the hell? What is what is wrong with your weather? I do not know. <coughs> but it, <coughs> Anyway, I'm going to stay home all day. I'm going to get better. I'm going to eat lots. This, this is how you get better. So number one, um, drink lots. Make sure you're fully hydrated. Eat... Eat quite a bit as well. If you're hungry, then eat something. Don't try and push through it. Just eat something. And <clears throat> spend a lot of time just doing passive activities. Lying down on the couch watching TV is really good. Um, lying down on bed listening to audiobooks is really good as well, but that's a bit boring. <coughs> you can play computer as well, but computer is not as good as the other two. I mean, lying down watching TV is awesome, especially if you put a if you put a blanket over you, uh, and definitely try and maintain your temperature um, because when you're cold, when you're sick, you probably got a bit of a chill. So be a little bit warmer if you can. Um, e even if you feel like you're a little bit warmer than you should be, then that's comfortable. That's probably okay. I think that helps with the healing process. <coughs> Definitely, if you're cold, don't um, do do something about it. If you're sick and you feel cold, do something about it. <coughs> mm. uh, so anyway, I think that's I think that's enough for today. I think I'm gonna <coughs> just put this video up, and then I'm gonna go maybe watch some go watch some TV with um, a quilt wrapped around me or something like that. I can't really do it at the moment because it's 25 degrees. It's still fairly warm in the house, but it'll start to cool down over time. <coughs> and then I see how I go. I got nothing on for today or tomorrow. Sunday I've got cooking, but I can push that back if I need to. So, yeah, I should be able to recover from this without too many problems. But this week, this week, it's supposed to be resting all week and it's been an absolute shit show. Learning stuff, though. Um... Definitely sunlight headaches are a big problem. <coughs> and a hat doesn't necessarily help. So that's really disheartening though that I went out yesterday. But then I went out for a long walk. Um, <coughs> but I wanted, like, physically, 10 minutes was probably good. In terms of chronic fatigue, I could have done more than 10 minutes. In terms of sunlight... Going out there even for five minutes is uh, is dangerous. It's not a good idea. So <coughs> I think I might have to start using this exercise bike a lot more. Um, if it's, I, I'll try and get out some walks because I still want some f um, fresh air as much as I can get. So I'll still try and get out some walks. I'm going to look at the temperature, and if it's not too cold early in the morning before the sun comes up, uh, although. <coughs> Is the sun up? See, the sun's starting to come up right now. It's quarter past six and the sun's starting to come up, so... <coughs> yeah, um, so this would be a perfect time for a walk. It's like 25 degrees, uh, the sun's not quite out. Yeah, so I would normally be walking, like, <coughs> in, on another day, I would be walking. But I'm sick, so I'm not going to walk. I don't think that walking would make me better. Uh, no, I want to. I want to avoid it. <clears throat> so anyway, that's going to be that. Um, we are done here, and yeah, uh, the air conditioning might might try and fix that in the future. <clears throat> there are certain things I can do. I can get an electrician to <clears throat> take the module and install it on the wall next to the actual control panel, which I should have got the original guys to do, but. They didn't ask me, they just put it in the ceiling, and they're just like, hey, I put it in the ceiling, and I was like, okay, you know, if you know what you're doing, you know what you're doing, but, yeah, so I'll get him to move it, it doesn't require mains power, I don't think, <clears throat> but uh, I'll probably get an electrician just to be safe, and then, I also need an outside security light, I've been meaning to get that for a while, so I might get, buy one of those, 
and then I can get the electrician to do both at the same time. <clears throat> and then that would hopefully sort out my problem. I'm not sure. Hopefully it's the thermometer on the Wi-Fi unit and not a thermometer anywhere else it's using, but I'm pretty sure it's the thermometer on the Wi-Fi unit. And I'm pretty sure there is one on there. So I'm gonna call up Dakin today and get some information from them. <clears throat> Just confirm, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna call them up and I'm gonna say, oh, I got this problem, blah, 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 blah. And they're gonna say, well, your installer was an idiot for putting the thermometer, the Wi-Fi unit in the ceiling. <clears throat> and then that'll at least confirm what needs to happen to fix it. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys later.